Failure is the greatest way to, to uh, learn, and there's nothing wrong with failure because it means you've tried. I have been told that I just make projects better. So that's normally when someone asks me what I do, I say, I'll make your project better. Uh, aesthetically, uh, I give it a sense of place. Uh, I'll make it special and different than any other place in the world. So uh, I would stick with that. I make your project better. I came back here and made the decision that I would just figure out a way to be uh, an applied artist in Argentina and, and discover a way to continue being myself without the big, big projects. I like that where I'm at right now, everything's boiled down to the essence. And it's up to me and me alone to figure out how to get it done. Um, uh, I've had as many as 300 employees back in the day and I've never really been a businessman. You've never heard me say I wanted to be a businessman. It just the business happened around what I was doing. And it, the business became an un, untamable beast. And I'm very happy to not even be thinking about business, just to be creating, and even if it's little. And I mean, when I say little, it's nothing compared to what I used to do. But it's in a way it's it's so clean and so direct that I, I enjoy every minute of it. The cast iron elements in this passageway are, are going to be the columns and the capitals. And I hate to say this, but it, because in, in the modern art world, it's, it's a no-no, but beauty truly inspires me, truly inspires me. Shapes, forms, light, uh, textures, uh, the unexpected. That, but if I boiled it down, it would be beauty is what inspires me. And then the challenge is inspiring for me. When I, when I have something that seems impossible to make, it's, it's so challenging that every bit, every fiber in my body and my brain is just focused on how to how to accomplish this so uh, challenge is also inspiring because out of necessity you have to be very very creative the best aspect of my job is the discovery process now and I'm re living that now I had to sort of invent myself early in my career because there was nobody doing this work. Now in Argentina, I'm having to kind of invent myself again because I have no resources down here. So I'm, I'm like a treasure hunter. I'm, I'm meeting people, asking questions, trying to find how to get my toe in the door to somebody who might be able to make this for me or make that for me. So that part of the rediscovery of Mike is, is what I'm enjoying the most. And I, I really am happy to be doing this, this simple endeavor because it's, it's extremely challenging and rewarding. Because when I do find the guys, and they're far and few between, they're spectacular people, they're talented, and they're humble. It's such a different experience than being in New York City or Chicago or LA where everybody who's creative thinks they're a god. Here, being creative is just a job, and it's a way to make a couple pesos, and I love that. The worst aspect of my job, there isn't any. I like the bad parts as much as the good. I mean, I wouldn't know what I know if I hadn't failed many times, and I've failed in a huge way many times. But you just get up, and you don't make that same mistake and you just learn from it and failure is the greatest way to, to uh, learn and there's nothing wrong with failure because it means you've tried so there's no worst part of my job I, I can't think of anything